Good crafternoon, my paper crafting friends. Oh my goodness, it's one o'clock. I was looking at my notes here thinking I had 10 minutes and 10 minutes flew by like no tomorrow. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make sure that my volume is turned down so I don't hear myself and make sure that I am in the correct spot and it looks like I am. Awesome. Well, great. Once again, happy Sunday crafternoon. My name is Dawn Bourget and I'm a Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator and I am very glad that you're here to craft with me today. Today's project's gonna be super easy and we'll talk about more about that in a minute. But I have some housekeeping to go over with you guys because there's a lot of good stuff going on as I'm getting into the latter part of June and into July. So we're gonna cover that. And um, we have some very good news. Yesterday, Stampin' Up! announced we are going to have free shipping on any orders of $75 or more before shipping and tax. This Tuesday, June the 21st. Yay! <laughs> I love free shipping, right? We all love free shipping. So, this is a great time to stock up on your cardstock, on adhesives, um, for me, envelopes as well, and all the supplies that I use for my classes. Or maybe there's a couple bundles that are in our brand new annual catalog that you haven't gotten yet. Anything, you can even put clearance rack items, or also, also, this catalog is, is expiring soon, the end of June, and you know we have the last chance list. So you could get, if it's available for you, I know there's a lot of things that have sold out, but there are a lot of things that are up to 50% off. And then on top of that, free shipping, you're saving a bit, right? That's what we call a savvy stamper shopper. <laughs> we can justify this, you guys. I know we can. Anyway, so I just wanted to let you know I'm really excited about that. I'll probably be rambling on about this free shipping the entire time that we're on together today um, because I'm super excited about it. So I'm already making a list and taking inventory of my cardstock. Like I use basic white cardstock dimensionals, like those are my go tos for just about everything, every card. So anyway, take an inventory, see where you're at. Um, maybe you want to get some kits. We have our kit collection that is um, a BOGO. Buy one, get one at 50% off, right? Yay. Um, and then on top of that, get free shipping. I mean, there you go. You're saving some money. Think about maybe with those kits, some birthdays that possibly may be coming up, maybe your BFF. Uh, do you do Secret Santa with your crafty friends or your family? Uh, those kits are for any age group uh, and also any craft level. So, hey, hi, Evelyn. How are you? Yes, we survived last night. <laughs> so last night, demonstrators had an opportunity. This is just a squirrel moment um, to do something called Creativity Now. And it was an online event. And we did some really cool projects. And it was just strictly creativity. It was so much fun. The only thing that I know I messed up on, and I always do if I don't take things really slow, it was a 3D project. It was making a gift bag. And it was beautiful, but um, my gift bag ended up being in the garbage. It was, it was bad. <laughs> so I've cut the paper again. I'm gonna try a different color, and we're gonna redo that bag, and I'm gonna get it if it kills me. No, okay, it, it's not gonna kill me. It's only paper, right? But you get what I mean. Anyway. Get back on track here. Um, anyway, so free shipping this Tuesday all day. So if you guys have any questions, reach out to me. I'm here for you. And um, if your order is under, under 150, make sure to use the host code, okay? Because if you do, I would like to send you a little gift. All right. Now, if your order is over $150, please do not use the host code. 
go ahead and keep those um, Stampin' Rewards for yourself because at, at the 150 point, you can earn free product for yourself. So you can have your own party. So, hey, why not, right? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to update my iPad here because I want to make sure. I'm going to try something different and see if I can see your comments a little bit better. Um, I see someone else has joined. Yay, welcome. So anyway, um, go ahead and do not use the host code if your order is 150 or more. But a minimum of $75 on Tuesday only, June 21st, will get you free shipping. So that's pretty awesome. So once again, I'll be flash, flash, flashing this <laughs> throughout our live today. So um, it's a good deal. We love free shipping. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys about? Of course, free shipping will include you shopping out of this book right here, the annual catalog. This is our new annual catalog. If you haven't gotten one, hey, Karen, hi. Um, if you haven't gotten one, make sure to let me know so I can get one to you. If you don't, don't already have a demonstrator, I'd be happy to send you a catalog. What I'd ask that you do at this point, because those of you who have shopped with me previously should have gotten one, but if you've not shopped with me before, you do not already have a demonstrator, and if you would like to reach out to me, I will ask that you PayPal me $10, that covers the shipping, and then I will send you the catalogs, because our holiday book, which is right here, and celebration is starting July 1st. So I'll make sure you get all three catalogs uh, by you PayPaling me $10. And that covers, like I said, the shipping cost. And then what I will do is give you a coupon for $10 on your first order with me. All you'll need to do is call me directly and all my information is on the front of every single publication. So, hey, Donna, how are you? So anyway, um, that way it helps to cover the shipping, but in return you get it back because I'll subtract $10 off your first order with me, which is pretty awesome, right? So anyway, like I said, this is coming up and I am so excited. I can't show you the inside of the catalog yet, but I will be showing you a couple of things in just a minute here. Um, that I've made with some products. And there are some fun coordinating products in Celebration that work with things that are in the mini catalog. So Stampin' Up's thinking, they get me every time. That's why I love them so much. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and go through a couple things that are happening here at the Chalet coming up. You guys, I am like super organized. I got my energy back and I am just, I'm on it. So tonight, um, I'm going to have a new schedule for those of you that like a printed schedule, you'll be able to print it. So I'm working on this after I'm done with my live. Um, I'm getting all my classes lined up for the rest of the year, you guys, all the way through the end of December. Is that not crazy? So there's a few things that are changing. I might change the August product class uh, to something out of the holiday book. Maybe like the gnomes. The gnomes. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. So I don't know. We might jump in and I might just say, mm, I, I'm going to ask my, uh, my class attendees this Thursday what their vote is. If we should go with Texture Chic or if we should just dive into the new catalog product. So anyway, that should be done hopefully tonight. I don't know. We'll see on that last class uh, as far as August yet. But the rest of it will be done. So that will be posted tonight and it will also be emailed tonight. So if you're not on my mailing list, there's a link above. Uh, make sure to sign up for my weekly emails. Sometimes I do several emails in a week, but a lot of the times it's just once a week and it's all about what's happening here at the Chalet and Stampin' Up. Also, uh, like I said, this Tuesday, the 21st, we have free shipping on all orders of $75 or more before shipping and tax. Uh, this Wednesday, June 22nd, June, I get to meet June, the little guy who's turning three. So many of you have sent in cards. I have a stack of cards and I'm still receiving cards for the little guy, June, who's turning three. Uh, he's local and he's been dealing with childhood cancer. 
So um, I've ordered some cupcakes for him from Britter's Twisted Whisk. She's helping me out and we're gonna celebrate June. I, I'm so excited to meet this little guy. And then also, this week on June 23rd, we have the product class coming up. So what did I do with that stuff? For those of you who have signed up for this class, it is closed because it includes products. So I had to order this and pre-cut some things and die cut a lot of cups. <laughs> there was a lot of die cutting on this one, you guys. But you're going to make two of each, all five in colors of some adorable cards, okay? And this class includes, the, the product classes always include some fun stuff that you get to take home. We'll use some during class and then you get to take the rest home. Hey, Lonnie, hi. So that's going to include these um, matte dots, just so you can see what a product class is all about. So for this class, we're getting the note cards and envelopes, which are these here in all five in colors. And then they're getting a full pack of the Cup of Tea or the Tea Boutique DSP that's six by six in size. I did open it to cut a few things from everybody's packet, and then they get to take the rest of this home. And like I said, then the dots are included as well because we'll be using these to decorate the cards. And we'll be making 10 cards this Thursday. So it's gonna be a good time. So if you've never, whoops, I bumped my, <laughs> bumped my station here. So if you've not participated in an uh, in your local in a product class, you need to. They are so much fun and you get a lot of product to take home. Oh, thanks, Lon. I love having you at my classes. Those online product classes are a lot of fun, aren't they? Whoops, I'm gonna make sure that my stuff isn't on an angle since I kind of whacked it one. I got so excited I was talking with my hands. Hi, Judy, how are you? Happy Sunday. Okay, so that is this Thursday. Like I said, it's closed because I had to order all the product and I had to cut all that and prep it in advance. Then on Friday, this Friday, June the 24th, we have coffee and a card over at our local Ludington Starbucks. And um, that is from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. And I have a special guest who will be with me. So come and say hi to Jamie and I. Jamie is going to be my helper, and um, I'm going to have her hang out with me for a couple of hours. So come on over and stamp with us. You'll be able to make one free make and take. We usually use the kits so you can experience the whole line of kits. Um, I give usually just a couple of choices because we don't want too many. It gets a little confusing otherwise. But it's a free card. You can grab a goodie. They have awesome cookies and cake pops. Or if you are into coffee, uh, grab a coffee. And we are just inside the door of Starbucks, right on your left. There's a big table right there. And I set it up and have everything there for you. There is no RSVP required. Just come on over and join us and we'd love to see you and say hi. So that again is this Friday, June the 24th, 10 a.m. to noon. And then on Thursday, July the 7th, I'm going to have a catalog kickoff. Woo! I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I was going to have it on June 20, uh, I was going to have it on June the 30th. But you know, that's coming up before we know it. I thought, you know, I need an extra week. I think you guys need an extra week with all this stuff going on, right? So um, on Thursday, July the 7th, I only have two times available instead of my normal three. Because it's more like a party, I just am going to offer 10 a.m. or 6.30 p.m. And you must RSVP with me no later than July the 3rd with prepayment of $25. And this will be free um, if you place a minimum order with me during the event that day, during the party, the kickoff. So that is on Thursday, July the 7th. And let me show you just a quick sneak peek of the cards I think we're gonna make. I've been designing and um, we're gonna play with a lot of celebration products that coordinate with holiday products in the holiday catalog. Does that make sense? So for an example, like this card here, 
there's um, a stamp set called, I think, Trees for Sale or Tree Lot. And then there are dies that are in celebration that match that set that have the little camper and stuff. Isn't that cute? But anyway, so these are the cards that we will be making um, during the catalog kickoff, July 7th, 10 a.m. or 6.30 p.m. Again, $25 are free with the minimum order. And then, let's see here, um, Saturday, July the 16th. That's coming up too, you guys. Saturday, July 16th, I will have my BOGO. That is all of my retired products from Stampin' Up! that are either never used or gently used. Now, the thing with the BOGO is that I mark everything price as in the catalog, even if it's been used, because it's only been gently used. And you might say, if you've never been to my BOGO, you it's a must do. If you are local or even within a 50 mile radius, it's worth coming to my BOGO event. Bring all your friends, pile them up in the car. It's going to be at Amber, Ship, Amber Township Hall. Amber Ship, that's kind of a mesh, right? Amber Town Hall here in Scottville, Michigan. It's right off of Amber Road and it's on the south side. And it's just literally as you turn onto Amber Road, maybe a block down on your right. And you'll see my big sign on the front. It'll say Dawn's Creer Chalet. We set it up last year in the yard there. It's at 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. And what the objective of this is, is to help me get rid of retired products that I can no longer use because I do Stampin' Up! as a business, okay? And then they're marked the same price that they are in the catalog, but the catch is this. Once you shop with me during my BOGO, I'm gonna give you just a couple of days. No week long, it's gonna be shop fast and furious. I'm going to give you a coupon for the same amount that you spend at the BOGO. So let's say Evelyn is there, she's shopping with me, and she spends $100 at my BOGO. I'm going to give her a coupon towards her order of $100. Can you go over? Of course you can go over. As a matter of fact, I would appreciate everybody going over their coupon price because I am trying to earn an incentive trip so I can take my husband on a cruise. I really, 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 really would love to take him on a cruise and I'm about halfway there. So I really need help. <laughs> so the BOGO event usually helps with my sales, which in turn helps me earn the trip. Um, so I'm just being honest, right? So anyway, so you get the coupon for let's say the $100 and then you can spend twice as much if you wanted to. All you'll be responsible for is anything over your coupon price and shipping and tax that I do not pay for. You take care of that because I'm basically giving you a bunch of free product. So it's really, it's a win-win for you. Um, with Christmas coming up, maybe you'll want to find some things for Christmas gifts or I don't know, uh, Christmas gifts for you. <laughs> <laughs> or your crafty friends, or maybe you're thinking about making Christmas cards this year, or, you know, multiples of different things. Anyway, my, this is going to drive me crazy. I did this last time too. I bumped it and then everything was sideways. Now I'm really making a mess out of this. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this way, Dawn. It's like a mirror image thing. It throws me all off. Anyway, so that's my BOGO event. And again, that'll be Saturday, July 16th, Amber Town Hall. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then the last thing for now, since this is very overwhelming, right? There's a lot going on here. July the 28th, I'll have my next product. Oh, actually, I skipped, I skipped something. Let me show you guys. So I got so excited I forgot to put down my July creative card class is July 14th which is right before the BOGO. And these are the cards that we're going to be making. You'll get to see all of them better if you come to class. So this is July uh, 14th on Thursday, 10 a.m., 1 p.m., or 6.30 p.m. And it's $25 or free with a minimum order during class. And this is the July 
creative card class. So anybody can attend. There's no product included. It's just making some really pretty cards. And then the last class in July is on Thursday, July the 28th. And it's Hues of Happiness. And it's going to be $37. And you get a $5 coupon to use on any size order during class. $37, Thursday, July 28th, Hues of Happiness. And it's going to include the Hues of Happiness DSP, the Glossy Dots, and Fresh Freesia Bolt of Ribbon. So you get a full bolt of ribbon, the full pack of paper. I just cut from your paper and you get to take the rest home. And then we'll be using these cute little pretty dots. Um, glossy dots, I guess they call them. So anyway, shoo, that was a lot of information. Holy moly, but we got through it. You guys are awesome. All right, so with that being said, um, and I talked about our kits that are a BOGO right now through the end of June. And with our free shipping, that might be a good time to stock up on those. Um, but what we're going to talk about today, did you notice we didn't talk about paper pumpkin yet? So that's what we're concentrating on today. Paper pumpkin. So I don't know how many of you are already subscribed to paper pumpkin. Um, paper pumpkin has been around, oh my goodness, has it been at least, at least seven years, I believe. Time flies. Um, Maybe it was 2015. I went to my last leadership event as a manager back when, and they introduced these kids called Paper Pumpkin. And I was like, Paper Pumpkin? What? <laughs> what? Why? Like, <laughs> what is the objective here? So these cute little kits, they're monthly kits that are delivered to your mailbox every single month. And they're orange. They kind of look like a pumpkin. Well, not really. <laughs> but they are really cute, and they catch the attention of my mail carrier. Um, she's asked, what is this? <laughs> Why is there like a paper pumpkin in this box? And I'm like, no, 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 no. These are, these are really cool. These are kits. Um, so this is a subscription type kit, whereas our other kits, our kit collection, are just individual kits that you can buy a la carte. Um, these you can, I guess, also buy them a la carte, but, um, I've had some people, cause I talk about paper pumpkin every single week, right? In fact, the next kit is going to be for July. And in order to get the July kit, you'll need to sign up by the 10th of the month. The theme for July is sending good thoughts. It sounds really cool. And, um, it, Looks like it's going to be cards. Yes, nine cards, three each of three designs and nine coordinating envelopes. It looks like I don't. I, every single kit I end up loving. I mean, I, I can't think of a kit that I've not really enjoyed putting together. Um, but anyway, so I've had some people asking me on the side, you know, you mention Paper Pumpkin every week, but I have no clue what Paper Pumpkin is. And I thought, you know, it might be a good week to do something easy. And, oh my gosh, can you guys hear my dog? She's crying because she sees David outside working in the yard and she's not out there. And she's like crying because she can't go out. <laughs> Great, this is gonna be fun. I may have to go out there and calm her down. We'll see how this goes. Um, how embarrassing. Anyway, so I have been asked what is paper pumpkin? Like you talk about this every week. You say that something's coming up in the next month. What the heck is paper pumpkin? So with that being said, I thought I'm going to make a few little notes. Just explain to you guys exactly what paper pumpkin is. Now, I know some of you, you're, you've been around a while. You know what paper pumpkin is. But there's another reason why I'm going to talk about these kits and prepaid subscriptions and why you may want to take advantage of that because celebration is approaching and even for those of you who already like for myself i have an ongoing subscription where it just automatically comes every month 
but um, what you can do, even if you do that, you can get a prepaid subscription that you add on to your ongoing subscription and take advantage of free product with host rewards and with celebration coming up, you can take advantage of celebration items as well. So even if you're already a subscriber, this might be something that you'll want to listen in on as well. So what is Paper Pumpkin? It's basically a unique, all-inclusive monthly subscription that arrives to your door every month. It's a one-stop box for creative success. It's designed so that everyone can have a successful experience, quickly and easily achieving beautifully handcrafted results every time. So I know as a demonstrator, I have heard several excuses when, I'm, when I ask, hey, would you like to do a party? Would you like to get together with some of your friends and try to make some cards? And of course, I hear things like, I don't have enough time. I'm just not creative, I can't afford it, I don't have supplies, or I don't have a space designated for crafting. So Paper Pumpkin Kits have been designed for all types of crafters beginning to season. There's everything in this box that is pre-cut and ready to assemble, uh, packaged and ready to go inside this box. You can create uh, the time that you'd like to have when it's convenient for you and create when and where you'd like. They are portable and they're fun. I have personally have um, put these together on a plane. I have put them together on a road trip. So they're pretty handy, especially when you get bored and you need something to do. Um, Let's see here. Again, it's your one-stop box for creativity. Paper Pumpkin has done the hard part and leaving all the fun for you. Every month, there are new products and projects. If you're not happy, just contact Stampin' Up, and they're going to make sure that it's right because your satisfaction is guaranteed. It's an easy way to share the crafting experience with family and friends. Your kit uh, connect you to a whole paper crafting community where you'll feel support through face, a Facebook group, Pinterest, and a blog put on directly by Paper Pumpkin. It keeps you motivated. I know it keeps me motivated and excited from one month to the next as my box ar arrives. Um, it helps hone in on your creative abilities, and the more you craft, the more comfortable and confident you do become. So on the box, you'll see that on the side, which is really nice, they've changed it. They put the name of the kit on the side of the box. So if you do have, I don't ask me how I know this, uh, you get several kits and you forget what is what because all the boxes otherwise look the same. You can see on the side of the box what month year and the name of the kit it is which is really nice also when you get your um your paper pumpkin kit something that they've changed they've wrapped them in clear plastic with a different type of label on them and the reason why i say that is we used to get these kits and sometimes it looked like somebody stepped on them and they do inside seal everything with plastic so if heaven forbid your box were to be transported and get massively wet from a rainstorm um, or what have you, as it's in transport, the contents inside the box are also protected, which is really nice. And then as you open the box, um, they have this really pretty tissue paper. Now, they don't do it like they used to. They used to have a seal on the tissue paper. Now, I am really weird. I'm just going to admit this to you guys, and you'll be like, oh, yeah. For those of you who know me, so Dawn. I would take my paper snips, and I would carefully cut it because I didn't want to rip the tissue paper. And it's not that I use the tissue paper for anything else. I just, <laughs> I'm weird. But anyway, I think it's just a nice touch because it's almost like getting a little gift in your mailbox every single month, right? I mean, it's not a bill. Let's rejoice. <laughs> That's really nice. And then as you get into your kit, um, you'll open it up. Like I said, it's wrapped in 
plastic completely so that nothing gets damaged in case of weather oriented circumstances. And you'll get full color instructions in your kit, which is really nice. So it tells you step by step. And these cards are easy. I'm going to say that right now. But you know what I love about it? And I'm a seasoned crafter. I've been a paper crafter since like 1983. I was still in high school when I got addicted to paper crafting and uh, scrapbooking. And I have been using Stampin' Up! products for a long time, long before I was ever a demonstrator. So um, I think maybe two years after they came out as a business, I've been using Stampin' Up! And I've been a demonstrator for only 12 years. So I, I've Stampin' Up's been a part of my world for a long time. So anyway, with that being said, you know, as I became a demonstrator, I spent a lot of time designing and cutting for everybody else. And I honestly don't always have the time just to have my play days and just freely create. Usually I have something on my agenda every day that I'm thinking of or working with or cutting and prepping for a class. So when these come, this is like my chance for a little bit of pampering and me time so that I have time. And don't get me wrong, I'm not whining. I love to create for class, I do. But this is a way for me to give, and it gives me, I guess, permission in my mind to take a couple hours, if that, because they're that easy. But um, take a couple hours out to create for me and to have a little fun. And then also in the process, I can set them up for display just so that my customers who do come here to stamp can see what Paper Pumpkin is all about. And besides, sometimes I need a card and I haven't had a chance to make a personal card so I can just grab a Paper Pumpkin card and um, be set to roll. That's kind of nice to have them in my stash. But anyway, along with the full color instructions on the back, they give you the kit components list. They also list the coordinating uh, Stampin' Up! colors because they match with everything that's in the whole entire Stampin' Up! line. So these colors that you see listed here, we have all these colors with all of our products, our inks, our cardstock, um, markers, Stampin' Blends, everything coordinates together. So if there's Poppy Parade in here, there's Poppy Parade cardstock. And if you want to get creative, and as you start to branch out, if you're a new crafter, and you start to look into our annual catalog, our holiday book that's coming out, you can coordinate things together, which is a lot of fun. And then you become a little more confident as you, you continue to create, and you'll get more familiar with our other products. And of course, that's how we start the obsession, right, ladies and gentlemen, because there are male stampers out there. In fact, my husband loves Paper Pumpkin. He'll sit down and he'll do a kit with. So um, anyway, also right here, there's a how-to. So if there is more questions that you have, you just zap that with your phone. And um, <clears throat> what else was I going to tell you? Oh, for this particular kit, although I think that they're having a problem getting them in, they have these cute little cloth bags, which I'll show you in a second. And they, they give you one, but you can order additional um, if you are a subscriber. But, excuse me, you can only get these if you are a subscriber. But they do sometimes have add-ons, as we call them. But for some reason, I think they're having an issue trying to get these bags into the warehouse. Last I knew. Um, anyway, so... There are things that you can purchase sometimes, as long as you are a subscriber. Um, the other thing that I love is that there's always, I'm gonna put this against here so maybe you can see it better. There's always a stamp set that comes with your kit. Now, when you first subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you're going to get a block. It's like a D, D is in Dawn size block. Now it's not this one. This is one of them that you can purchase in our catalog, which is a little bit thicker. But when you are a new subscriber to Paper Pumpkin, they do give you a, a thinner acrylic block. I end up grabbing, I gravitate to using my own stuff now that I have a stash of stuff. But anyway, so that's really nice because 
there may be somebody who's a brand new crafter and they don't have these items. So it's really nice that everything that you need other than paper snips comes in the box. So every month you can exclusive stamp, whoops, let me, I cut that right off, didn't I? So every month you get an exclusive stamp set. You cannot find these stamp sets anywhere else. You have to be a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin to get these. And there are some really cute stamps, you guys. And then you can use these over and over and over again because they're pretty generic to be used on other projects, which is really nice. They also give you at least one, if not two, ink spots. What's really cool about these is that they can be refilled Okay, so we have our ink refills, and again, coordinates with what is in the entire Stampin' Up! line of products in our annual catalog. So you can re-ink these and use them over and over and over and over and over. Um, also, something, a little, little um, tip about these is that you don't have to worry about getting the same color continuously. Uh, they take pride in the fact that they will not use the same color within 12 months. So that's kind of cool, right? So you can get quite a collection of these little ink spots. And these are great too, once again, if you're traveling or if you're going to a crop. These are much uh, lighter than to pack our regular size ink pads, right? So also, if you are a person who does like to go camping and you're limited on space in your camper and you have someone who keeps complaining that, why do you have to bring all your stuff? <laughs> These are much easier to store, right? And they're lighter too. So anyway, just wanted to point that out. And then um, for an example, for this kit, they did supply with some linen thread or they'll put in ribbon that type of thing. Uh, dimensionals, I used my own so I didn't crack into these yet, but I'll put them with my other dimensionals and use them up. And then also um, they have kind of like what's coming up in the next paper pumpkin. So they tease you a little bit. And they also were doing a survey. So I went ahead to do that. So if you guys already get paper pumpkin, do the survey because you could I think win next month's kit for free. Yeah, a chance to win a free paper pumpkin kit. So maybe if it's not next month, it's a kit in general. But anyway, take the quiz. It only takes a couple minutes. Normally I don't do those things, but I thought, oh, what the heck? And it really is not that difficult. And if you need help with the answers, call me. <laughs> I can help. I would love to see one of my customers get a free paper pumpkin kit. I think that would be awesome. And then, um, of course, they talk about these little bags that we should have been able to get as of the 17th. But like I said, I was having a hard time getting them. So I'll keep you posted on that. So anyway, um, again, I, I can't say enough about these little kits. Um, I just love to have the time to be able to create a little something for me. Okay, it's a selfish thing, what can I say? So anyway, with that being said, um, in this month's kit, June, they gave us enough supplies to make a minimum of nine cards. Now, if you do go to, <clears throat> there's a group on Facebook called Paper Pumpkin Fan Club, and this group is open to anybody. Anybody can join it, so go ahead and join it. And um, it's, it's a spot where, oh my gosh, some of these girls do the most amazing alternative projects with the things that come in the kit. So if you are wanting to really expand your creative ability, check that out because there is like a gazillion ideas on each month's kit. So for this month, they gave us envelopes that are pre-printed and they are also lined on the inside all the way through. Well, at least on this side. And they're cute, right? They're super cute. So just the bonus of having the envelopes with your cards is pretty awesome, right? One less thing you gotta dig out or try to find. See, I'm gonna get rid of this stuff and just put it back in the box for now. In fact, well, I might get mine out. <laughs> My linen thread, by the way, is a hot mess. You, when you guys see it, you're gonna laugh. 
but let me grab that while I'm thinking about it. Yes, I think I can find it. There we go. Okay, cool. So I have that out. Usually, like I said, I have so much stash that I'll use my stuff up before I open up the stuff that comes in the kit. I don't know why. I'm weird. It's just me. So this month's kit has, like I said, three different designs and three of each card. So they're pre-printed. So right there, it's already a pretty card, right? We're just gonna make it even better. We're going to add some of the goodies that come with the kit. But first of all, what I'm going to do, I like to make my um, scoring nice and crisp on the edge and I'm going to use my bone folder. And like I said, we've made the other cards already and I'll show you those in a second. But I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna talk about Paper Pumpkin a little because I've had several asking about it and I'm gonna save one of each card that way I got practice of doing two of each and just play with you, you know, play around with this with you and let you see what the pumpkin is all about. Okay, so the cute little bag that I was talking about is this and it's big enough to hold the um, standard A2 size cards inside and I think it's really cute. Now it was a little difficult. I'm gonna show you this because um, I, it's something that I don't want you to do. If you already have the kit, this is a helpful tip for you, okay? This was the first one and look at my mess. <laughs> this is why I wanna get more bags because this right here, I don't, anyway. You know, our classic ink pads, they're water-based. They're really not made to be stamping on fabric. In other words, if you stamp on this bag, don't get it wet, because otherwise this is gonna run and it will be a hot mess. But with that being said, when you guys stamp on your bag, if you haven't already, just remember there's this little humpy thing here, the way that they stitched and made these cute bags. I was not thinking. I had my stamp on my block and it was like uneven. And then when I went to stamp my berry, of course I completely made a boo-boo. <laughs> so, and then I accidentally had ink on the side of my block as well. So it just became one big hot mess. So just a word to the wise, avoid stamping anywhere up in here with those bags but anyway it fits all of the cards inside the bag so it could be a very cute gift and then also there are punch outs they gave let's see if i can show you this without them going all over so there was a whole bunch of these punch outs to decorate the cards and so if you wanted to, um, they give, I think, at least one extra of everything. So this would be like a cute name tag on it, you know, to put your friend's name on it on the back or on the front of the cheese. Um, or there's extra little tags here, but all of these were super easy. Just punch them out and they're ready to go. So that's what I like to do. I like to take all of the bits <laughs> and um, punch them out if need be, or if there's stickers, put them aside and kind of group them together. So with that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my instructions, actually I'll just use this. So we used, oh my goodness, we used one of these. Isn't this cute? Like this is my favorite one right here. And then these little, th actually there's gonna be a spare, so I'll be able to make even another card. Um, there's these little things in the spokes that you'll poke out, maybe. It was humid in my room here, and um, I can feel like, you know when your paper gets a little funky when it's been humid? That's how this feels right now, and I don't know why. Let's see here. So anyway, Tell me, what are you guys up to this weekend? And by the way, happy Father's Day to all dads out there. And are you doing anything special for the dads that are in your lives? 
whether they're a direct dad to you or, you know, spouse, otherwise. What are you guys up to today? Let me know. I'm curious. Oh my goodness, these little spoke things. I should have actually done this in advance, huh? But that's okay. We're in no hurry. We're just hanging out, having a little fun today. Like I said, I knew that this was going to be easier projects, but like I said, I really just wanted to um, talk to everybody about what exactly is that paper pumpkin thing? Because I have been doing paper pumpkin for so long, I just take advantage of the fact that I know what it is, but the sound of it is kind of silly, isn't it? Although kind of catchy. Catchy, but silly. Okay, there we go. So anyway, so I've punched out all the little spoky things. So that is going to go with that. And then also there is this long label. So we're going to need that. And then there's a piece of this yummy bread. <laughs> One of my favorite things. So that'll go with that card. And then for the next card, we have this one. And we have this that's going to layer on top. And then there is this, what do you call these things? Labels? Stakes? What, what are these? Whoops. <laughs> Helps if I get it where you guys can see it, huh? Anyway, we need one of those. And I actually already stamped, you are the sweetest on that one. So I think we'll probably just use that. And then also we have this little guy for that card. So we'll put that together. And then for the last card here, we have something that looks like a shopping bag. And we have a big piece or a couple of big chunks of bread. And also, let's see here, this is a tag. We're gonna punch that little tiny hole out there. And the piece of cheese, one of my favorite things. In fact, the world could not live without bread and cheese. <laughs> oh, and chocolate, which we don't have here. But hey, as long as we have cheese, chocolate, and bread, we're good. Okay, so those are my cards. So let's go ahead and we'll do this one first since I've already done the stamping on it. I'm going to end up using my own um, ink pad of Calypso Coral, the same color that came in the kit, just because I do not open these because I have all the Stampin' Up! colors. But just to kind of share a little tip with you guys on these so that they continue to seal okay, what I would do is take my paper snips and just along this edge right here, use your snips to peel it open. Okay, and don't even mess with the rest of it. It will come apart for you. Then this side ends up being a hinge. So this way you do not lose the, the top because some of these colors, they all look the same and they're not labeled on the bottom. So <laughs> if you had several of these off, it may be a guessing game unless, of course, you can sit there on a scrap piece of paper and, you know, direct paper to see what colors what. But if you would like to keep them together, um, just go ahead and just break apart the seal right here, leave this attached, and then you have a hinge and it's still easy to grab to ink up your stamps. I hope that that makes sense. Anyway, my helpful tip for the day. Okay, so I need, let's see here. How did I, oh, that was stuck together. I'm like, what the heck? So I need some dimensionals. Last night, when we were doing this Creativity Live thing, I had a hot mess going on with my dimensionals. <laughs> I have no idea, but they were like all sticking literally together. And I always like to have both my regular size dimensionals and then we have mini dimensionals, which are very nice to have on hand for those smaller spots. Because I'm lazy, as you guys know, I've told you I'm a lazy crafter. And it takes too much time to cut these in half. I know, you're going to laugh at me. Now, the other thing, though, is that this along the edge and like this, I call this the crust. I know, 
I have really quirky names for all my stuff in my craft room. But um, this, use it as well. And this is when I will take the time and I will cut these to very small pieces if need be, or I can use larger pieces. So don't throw that away. Don't keep the crust. Use the crust as well. Hey, Steph. They went golfing and you're just hanging out for a while? Well, I'm glad that you're here. It's a great day for golfing, though, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm also grabbing my seal adhesive. Um, I'm going to attach this to this vellum piece that's, I guess, we're going to call it a label steak, a steak label something. <laughs> you can tell <laughs> this is letting the cat out of the bag that Dawn is not much of a gardener. And I could possibly kill even a plastic plant. I'm just saying. Okay, so we're going to layer. It's true, you guys. I am awful. In fact, we're getting this little tiny house some landscaping done. And I'm like, I said to her, it has to be stuff that does not require any TLC um, because I will kill it even if it's plastic. She just laughed. Okay, so we have that put together. And then this... I hope you guys, whoop, I need to move this stuff so you can see it a little bit better, huh? So this is going to be popped up with dimensionals as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I like to use a lot of dimensionals because they're my favorite thing. All right, and go ahead and we'll pop these on. So we have popped up berries. Oh my gosh, speaking of berries, so strawberries in Michigan right now are in season. And there's a little place up the road called Orchard Market, or there's also The Market, which is even closer to me, um, where there are fresh berries. And Dave made some Bisquick um, biscuits and mash the strawberries and all the whole nine yards he's more of a cook than i am i honestly cooking is not my thing and if he didn't cook i'd be skinny so just saying that but um it was so good it so hit the spot okay so we've attached this with uh dimensionals this with dimensionals and i think i'm going to attach this guy with dimensionals as well why not we can all right, so I'm just gonna pop one there and stick that like so, and you have your card. How easy is that, right? Of course, I did cheat. We had that stamped in advance, but the next two I did not stamp. So um, anyway, so super, super cute, right? All right, <laughs> I gotta tickle my throat. Just a second, pink drink. I still have um, allergies. And of course, it's a no-win situation. For those of you who have allergies can relate. So I take the medication to clear up the sinuses because, you know, your sinuses get all clogged up. And then your sinuses are draining. And then you cough. And then everybody thinks that you've got, you know, 10 diseases. So it's like, do I take the meds? Or do I just suffer and be stuffed up so I don't freak anybody out? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I'm so confused. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let's see here. We're going to use this long sentiment right here, which says, you're the pick of the crop. And it will fit on the block that is given to you in the kit. You'll just want to probably... Do it sideways. But what's nice is that the stamps that are in the kit are what we call photopolymer stamps. They're clear. You can see exactly where you're going to stamp, which is really nice because it helps you be successful when you stamp. Although I still stamp crooked sometimes. That's just me. And just apply a little bit of pressure. You don't want to rock your stamp. Just down and back up. Perfect. I like that. <laughs> and then um, I have my icky, icky looking thing here to clean my stamps. And it's just water. And this is the Stampin', 
Oh my gosh, help me out, you guys. I'm having a brain fart. Having a brain fart. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to put it back in its home. There we are. And we're going to attach this with dimensionals. In fact, we're going to attach everything with dimensionals. It's just a dimensional world. So we're going to go ahead, pop that puppy up. I want to make sure I can see everything that you guys are saying. Shammy, thank you. I knew it was an S. I just couldn't, you know, it was on the tip of my tongue. Thank you, Steph. What would I do without you? Stampin' Shammy. Now these littler dimensionals come in handy for the middle of the little wheel there and also for my bread. So like I said, instead of me cutting them down, I just, you know, heck, why do I need to do that? I got tiny guys here. So we'll put a couple little tiny guys on the bread or the baguette. Is that what they call that technically? A baguette. Speaking of bread, um, I'll be going to the French Quarter in New Orleans with Lonnie, whoop, whoop, um, for backstage for a Stampin' Up! event. I'm really excited about that. That poor girl's going to have to put up with me and my five suitcases and my ten pairs of shoes for one weekend. <laughs> If she's still here, she's got to be laughing because she'll be shaking her head going, oh, yeah, because she's traveled with me before and she knows I'm not a light packer because you just don't know, you know, what you might need. I mean, <laughs> girls got to be prepared, I tell you. Okay, let's see here. Get these together. And then this I put down below this little tray. I don't know what you want to call that. The wagon. And then we're going to attach our bread. Yum, yum, yum. And there is card number two. Isn't that cute? I just love it. It's adorable. So much fun. Okay, so we have one more card here, you guys. See, it's flying by. And I'm going to get my stamp set. And I think I want to do Thinking of You on this. Attach the stamp to my block. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the tag. Let's see. There we are. Once again, just back up. Try not to rock it. And again, using my Stampin' Shammy. I'm gonna go ahead, clean the ink off of my stamp. And I'm always trying to get in the habit of, I know it's a little obsessive, but as soon as I'm done with the stamp, especially these photopolymer stamps, I put them back. The reason being is that they're clear, which is great when you're stamping, but not so much if you drop it. <laughs> um, these blend with my flooring in my craft room. And the other thing I can tell you guys, they will stick to your clothes. I've had one stick to my boob. I know, TMI, but leaning over on my craft table um, or on the back of my arm. Um, also, they have stuck to the back of another stamp set because they're plastic and these things, they stick to everything. Uh, so you might wanna get in the habit I know that was really TMI earlier, wasn't it? I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, it's truth. It's truth. I'm just being real. Um, you might want to get in a habit of just putting them back in their home as you go so you don't lose your stamps because they are easy to lose. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do on this card is we have this cute little um, vellum piece and it kind of looks like a like a grocery bag right like you're gonna take your little bag of goodies to the park you got your it looks like a tablecloth a picnic type situation and i am just going to put now i know that they say be careful with vellum because vellum is tricky to use um it will show your adhesive through it now i'm just i'm gonna do it 
but vellum can be tricky to work with and I totally get that uh, for sure. Oh, I know the other thing I need to do, we'll do that last, are the bows. Check this out, speaking of. Look at what I did to this. I've totally mutilated my, <laughs> my linen thread. It's a hot mess. But anyway, don't let me go, you guys. We'll have to make sure we put bows on it because I brought my bow maker with me to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I tell ya. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna put our big baguette bread in here because we didn't seal the top. We didn't want to do that. We want to make sure our bread fit in there. Isn't that cute? And then there is the flower piece. Look at all these extras I got left, you guys. I don't know if you can see them all on the camera. And we're gonna stick that in the bag. There we are. And then we're gonna put our cheese on the outside here and I need more dimensionals. Ooh, I'm getting down to just crust. Ooh, whoops. Oh, that was weird. That like didn't, there we go. See, that didn't wanna peel apart. Okay, so we're gonna put some dimensionals on the cheese. and stick it down like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach, and I'm cutting the crust now. See, gotta save that crust, it comes in handy. And then peel that off. Someone who's just tuning in, they're, they're like, why is she calling the dimensionals crust? <laughs> We're gonna stick that on like so. Whoops. And there goes some of my dimensionals all over the floor. Okay, we're gonna save this. And I'm gonna use my own glue dots because those little sheets of glue dots that they give you, they don't jive with fake nails, I'm just saying. Okay, so I think I'm done with my ink. And we're gonna go ahead and add some bows because that's what makes the project extra cute. All right, make sure I pull from the right side this time. Gosh, I cannot believe I did that. Although, I, yeah, I kind of can. So how many of you guys have this cute little, like a bow maker thing? I know some people use like a hair pick. I'm not good with that because I'm fumble fingers. So this is like my third hand. I love it. A friend of mine got me this and it's just peachy keen. All right, trim them tails, add a glue dot, and take my picket tool. <laughs> One thing about glue dots, they love my nail polish and they stick to my nails every time. So there we go, ta-da, and then we need to add one. I'm gonna add one to this little guy because they all need a bow. We don't want anybody to be left out. That's never a good thing, right? That's what we call FOMO. Need to treat them all the same. Whoops, there we go. And once again, trim the tails. Add a glue dot. And where did my, there it is, right in front of my face. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes, I swear, I lose everything in front of my face. All right, and there we are, card two, complete. And then where's the other one? This one here. So I wanna add a bow to this guy too. Last card, guys. Gosh, that went like super fast. It's always fun to hang out with you guys though on Sunday. And you know, it feels so good to be back into a routine and to have energy again. I'll tell you that allergy stuff, bleh, it's for the birds. Okay, snip, snip. Add a glue dot. 
or in my world, I call them boogers. I know it's gross. And we're gonna go ahead and put that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm wound up today. Didn't eat well, no, I did have one cup of coffee. And there we go. And that's card number three. So look at all these pieces I have left that I can do some fun things with. So I'll put them back into the box so I know that they belong with this particular kit because the box is labeled. And um, let's go ahead and spread these puppies out. So once again, we have the envelopes for all nine of these cards. Let's see. That goes with that, and then we have this guy here. And just so you guys can see the other side of those envelopes, they're cute as well. And so those will be with the little flower cart there. Isn't that cute? I want one of those in my yard. <laughs> and then we have the other three envelopes and the three cards. So how cute is that? Now, as far as pricing on these, because I didn't get into that with you guys, so I thought I would cover that really quick for those of you who are, like I said, new to the pumpkin. Um, you can prepay for these with one, three, six, or 12 months in advance. And for a one month, it's $22.50, and that's the item number. So if you're watching this later, you can stop and write the number down, okay? Because I'm gonna explain something to you about this, and this is gonna be pretty relevant. And then the three month is 67.50, and that's the item number for that. The six month is 122.50, and there's the item number for that. And like I said, you would pay for this just like you would if you purchased a stamp set at my online store at dawnscreativechalet.stampinup.net. Hello, Nancy, it's good to see you. And then also there's a 12 month option that's 235 that you pay in advance and then you get just the 12 months um, of the kit delivered to your home and that's the item number for the 12 month. Um, what happens when you prepay? You need to make sure that your email address is correct. And I know some people are like, I don't wanna get spam, blah, blah, blah. Well, Paper Pumpkin has to have your correct email address, um, especially if you're paying for a prepaid, because what's going to happen is once you pay for this, they're going to send you an email, and you have to activate that kit to start to come to your, to your home. Otherwise, you can pay for it, and if you don't activate with the email and the instructions in that email that you receive, you're not gonna get your kit. You're gonna be waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. So you need to activate it. And it's super simple. There's super simple instructions in the email for you to go ahead and activate it. And you'll need to activate it by the 10th of the month that you want to start to receive your kit. So it's still June. If you want to get the July kit and you're paying for a prepaid, you'll wanna subscribe by the 10th of the month. Okay, now I do it a little bit differently. However, I may add on to my ongoing subscription to get one of these during celebration, and I'll explain that in just a second. So you can do a monthly ongoing subscription where it just automatically comes to you every month. You can cancel it any time. There's no penalty. And then if you are like maybe going on vacation and you won't be home, um, you can suspend a month or skip a month. And then you'll just need to remember to reactivate it so it starts to continue to uh, be delivered to you, if that makes sense. And um, the cost of the kit that way is $23.50 and the shipping is included. $23.50 shipping included. And then we also have, as subscribers, we have the option to purchase past kits, which is pretty awesome. So they'll have extras or spares. And if it's a full kit or a refill kit, it depends. And then that's the price accordingly. $20.50 for a full kit. Or if you just, you already have, you've had the complete set 
uh, for instance, like this June kit, you've already received your stamp set. So you don't need another full kit. You already have the stamp set. You can get refill kits if available and they're at $11. So that's a really good deal, right? To get even more of this and you've already had received your ink spot and, uh, and your stamp set. So the reason why I really wanted to talk about this too with the prepaid is this. So as I mentioned, we have celebration approaching starting on July 1st. And with celebration, I wish I could show you the inside. I can't yet. I can July 1st, but for now we just get to see the cover. But with that being said, um, there are items that you can earn for free in here. There's a lot of different items you can earn for free in here, and they're all awesome, you guys. They're awesome. In fact, I have to say that this is one of the best celebrations in the 12 years that I've been a demonstrator. Seriously, it's it's good. So anyway, with that being said, if you were to prepay starting at the three the three month, because it's a $50 minimum on some items, and then there are some items in here that are a level two, we call them, which is for a $100 minimum, okay? So if you were to purchase a three-month subscription starting July 1st to get the July kit, because you still have those 10 days in July if you would like to get that Sending Thoughts kit to kick in, you can also earn a free celebration set. So you're getting a great bang for your buck if you were thinking about trying Paper Pumpkin with me anyway. So um, that's a thought. Or if you decide on a six month, there's $122.50 for that. So you could either pick two $50 items or one level two $100 item out of Celebration. You get where I'm getting at here? And then the 12 month is $235. If you're already getting Paper Pumpkin or you would like to go ahead and plunge and take the plunge of getting 12 months of fun in your mailbox every month, you'll also get either four Celebration Level 1 items at $50 each, or you can mix and match with the $100 Level 2s. And when you see what's in here, you're going to want it all. Trust me. <laughs> I just know it. So anyway, um, I thought, yeah, I'm going to, you know, like, I, I really need to talk about this because you really can get some great bang for your buck doing some prepaid and taking advantage of celebration, which is coming up on July the 1st. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So excited. Like the holiday book is fantabulous. It's so good. So anyway, um, I appreciate you guys spending some time with me today. Sorry, I was so wound up. I don't know what my deal is. I just enjoy having my energy back. This is great. <laughs> Other than I have a plugged up nose. But once again, if you would like to order with me, uh, here is my online store. My name is Dawn Bourget. And you can shop with me at Dawn's Creative Chalet And this is the host code for June. But again, if your order is $150 or more, do not use the host code. Go ahead and keep those Stampin' Rewards or free stuff for you because you start to get 10% back in free product at the $150 mark. So that just makes good sense. And then one last thing before I let you guys go, and let me clear this up just a little bit. Um, during celebration, of course, a lot of you know that we have a special for those who like to join the Stampin' Up! family. So with that being said, I wanted to show you this. Oh my gosh, there's so much here. <laughs> I have not even had a chance to really play and organize this. But during July and August, so celebration starts on July 1st and it ends on August 31st. I had to think about that. So yeah, the 31st. So during the two months the celebration is going on, you can join the Stampin' Up! family and the starter kit is always $99, always. 
It's always the best deal. If there is anybody that ever asked me, Dawn, what's the best deal? And even if it is not celebration, purchasing the starter kit, if you have at least a minimum of $99 of product that you would like to get, this is the best route for you to go. Purchase the kit. You can pick anything that you want and put it in the kit. You can pick items from any of the active catalogs or you can also pick items off the clearance rack to put in your kit. You receive free shipping, which is about a $13.75 in savings right there. Um, and just be a happy shopper. You don't, you're not required by me or Stampin' Up to do any classes or do it as a business. You can just be a happy, savvy shopper that purchase because you already love stamping a product and you can get a discount on everything that you purchase and your own purchases unlike some direct sales companies because i've been involved in other direct sales companies your own sales count to your minimums and with some direct sales that is not true so it's a win-win for you not having to be pressured to do anything and just enjoy shopping <laughs> and getting a discount on all the things that you love anyway with that being said um the joining special not only are you getting the additional product of 125 dollars of product for 99 free shipping they throw in a paper pumpkin kit you get to choose anything that you want in your kit and what else am I forgetting? Oh, they also give you catalogs. So in case you do want to reach out to a couple of your friends and let them know, your BFFs, who you probably craft with anyway, and just say, hey, I decided to purchase the starter kit. Um, if you want to order anything from me, here's the catalog. I mean, if, it, if you do have a couple of friends that want to order with you, that makes it even better. It makes it more fun. Or maybe they'll want to do the same thing you're doing and purchase the kit as well because that's what savvy shoppers do right we all stick together <laughs> but anyway with that being said this is what is also going to be included uh, when you join our family the creative chalet stampers during july and august so this is a planner isn't it beautiful oh my gosh it is gorgeous i just absolutely love it and it has a closure with a magnet so it stays securely shut and then on the inside there are several little pockets in a larger pocket. They give you all of these beautiful stickers. And once again, whether you're somebody um, who is intentional about joining this and doing it as a little side gig or not, everybody loves a planner. I know I'm super old school. I need paper to write down everything I need to get done. Um, my husband can put things in his phone and he's good with that. I can't. I, I have to. I'm very, very, very visual. So this for me is something that um, I have to have. <laughs> this is me right here. Paper. Everything's paper. So they do give you a lot of stickers. Um, this goes, uh, this covers, excuse me, this covers July of this year through the end of December, 2023. So over a year, all the stickers, um, they give you all of the dividers. Look at how pretty they are, right? It's just gorgeous. And then there's another pocket in the back and it will fit, I, I believe it'll fit six months if you wanna add some other, um, pages to it along with your full calendar which i love again i love to see everything and then they give you areas and other i mean look at this they give <laughs> this is a ton of stuff additional pages so for those of you who like to do what they call it bullet journaling um just a lot of options for you which i think is pretty darn cool i mean that is that's a lot right so 
all those for for those of you who love to do take notes i'm like i'm one of those people in fact i will show you something here these are my notes every day i write notes on what i need to get done like i'm a task slayer there's nothing that feels better to me than to write down a list of things i need to get done and then be able to take my pen and cross them off my list like that gives me the greatest satisfaction i know i'm weird I know I keep saying that. They also give you three journals, which I think are really cool. One of them is lined. They have the lined paper. The other one, this is the same print as the front of the um, planner. And this one's just plain paper. I'm a note taker too. So these are gonna come in so handy because I do weekly training with other demonstrators. And then this one here has little dots. So if you're a doodler or something like that, that could be, or you can just use it as notes as far as that goes. But you get three of those as well. Like I said, you get all of those pages, holy smokies, on top of all the pages I've already added. And, um, oh, and this little guy here is really cute. Whoops, I think I put too many, <laughs> I stuffed too many pages in here. And then this right here is really pretty. So you can kind of grab it at the month that you're at. Anyway, yep, I stuffed it a little too full, poor thing. I'm going to have to weed out a few pages. But anyway, so this is the special for joining during celebration in July and August. So if you're interested, reach out to me. Um, I think it's beautiful. I really do. I just love to look at it. It's just gorgeous. Um, and that again will start July the 1st through the end of August. All right, guys. Well, thanks again for joining me this afternoon. I appreciate you. You're fun to hang with. And if you would like to view this again, I'm going to put this video on my blog and also over on YouTube. So if you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make, make sure to do so. I'd love to have you there and click on the little bell that'll give you all the notifications every time I uh, load something onto YouTube. And um, yeah, all right guys. Well, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Again, happy Father's Day to all the dudes out there. And I will see you next week, Sunday, for Sunday Crafternoon with Dawn at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Thanks again, you guys. Have a great one. Bye-bye.